Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about the roles of oxidative stress in skin and scalp or hair aging. There are many features of aging, but perhaps the most apparent and the most bothersome is the aging of the skin, which includes the scalp. So as we age, many things go wrong in the body, but a lot of it is internal, with the exception of the aging of the skin and the aging of the hair. Now, just as there are many features or characteristics of aging, there are many physiological processes or imbalances that are involved in the pathogenesis of aging. So in other words, there are many contributing factors to the aging process, but one of the major physiological imbalances or features or biomarkers of aging is oxidative stress. And as we're going to discuss in greater detail in a moment, studies like this have looked in depth at the roles of oxidative stress in the aging process overall, particularly the aging of the skin and the hair. But before we get into exactly the roles of oxidative stress in skin aging and scalp aging or hair aging, let's quickly review what oxidative stress even is. So oxidative stress is defined as an imbalance of antioxidant capacity, so the natural defense mechanisms of the body, and the production or accumulation of reactive oxygen species or free radicals. So naturally as we age, our antioxidant capacity our defense mechanisms decrease while the production of free radicals increase. And the reason that this is problematic and how this physiological imbalance contributes to the aging processes of the skin and hair is because these free radicals or reactive oxygen species are incredibly volatile, unstable molecules that can steal electrons from your cells, which contribute to cellular structural damage and DNA damage. So in other words, reactive oxygen species and free radicals can damage your cells. And your skin and scalp and essentially every tissue in your body is just a collection of cells. So all tissues, skin tissue included, are just comprised of cells. And if your cells are damaged by reactive oxygen species, that means that that tissue in which the cells make up will also become damaged and aged. And in fact, studies like this, which have reviewed the mechanisms of oxidative stress in the aging of the hair in particular, have found that aging hair manifests as a decrease of melisinite function or grain and decreased hair production. And there is circumstantial evidence that shows oxidative stress may be a pivotal mechanism which contributes to hair aging and hair loss. Now this article is quite lengthy and if you want to read about all the various mechanisms involved in oxidative stress and hair aging, definitely be sure to check this study out in the description box below. Otherwise, the very, very simplified review of this study is that oxidative stress induced by an imbalance of antioxidants to free radicals causes progressive cellular structural damage. And as I already stated, if your cells become damaged, then that tissue becomes damaged. So oxidative stress, in other words, damages the skin and the scalp, which is going to lead to problems with the growth of the hair in both the production, so meaning that your hair is not going to grow as much hair as it used to, and also the hair follicle that is still alive can become damaged, which can result in pigmentation issues or the grain and the whitening of the hair or just the loss of hair color in general. Now, in addition to contributing to hair aging, oxidative stress, as discussed in this article here, is also known to contribute to the aging of the skin in very similar ways that I already discussed. This study talks about how oxidative stress actually induces modifications caused to proteins, fats, and DNA in the cell, which causes negative structural changes. Now, this article also goes into the details of how oxidative stress can contribute to lipofusion or age spots, AGES, which stands for advanced glycated end products, or the cross-linking of the proteins in the skin matrix, which leads to wrinkling and skin aging, as well as the calcification of the skin in the intrinsic and extrinsic aging of the skin on the cellular level. So considering this evidence and the plenty of other evidence that shows the strong correlation between oxidative stress in skin, scalp, and hair aging, obviously it's gonna make sense that we figure out how to reduce the production of these free radicals in oxidative stress, to protect the skin from aging. And as I previously mentioned, naturally, as the body ages, unfortunately, there is an influx of the antioxidant capacity of the body to the production of free radicals, where the body loses its antioxidant capacity in the production of various antioxidants like superoxide dismutase 
glutathione, and other master antioxidants, and experiences a greater production of reactive oxygen species, or free radicals. And obviously, this physiological imbalance is going to contribute to the manifestation of aging and the various signs of aging that we see, such as skin aging and hair aging. The good news is, is that there are ways to protect the body from oxidative stress even into the later years of your life. So the first thing to understand is some of the causes of the increased production of free radicals. So one thing that's really important in regards to preventing the overproduction or expression of reactive oxygen species is the functioning of your metabolism. So when there is metabolic stress, there's a greater production of reactive oxygen species or free radicals. So as I talk about in this video here on hypoxia and its roles in hair loss, in the electron transport chain, when the body is trying to utilize copper for the cellular utilization of oxygen, if the body does not have a sufficient amount of copper, it can experience hypoxia or oxygen deprivation. And actually, hypoxia is known to dramatically increase the production of free radicals or oxidative stress. And this is why you'll often see hypoxia preceding things like inflammation, oxidative stress, and in this case, skin aging or hair loss. And I'm pretty sure that there is direct research that talks about how hypoxia is present in the scalps of balding men. And this is largely driven by, again, a deficiency of copper. But also keep in mind that estrogen can directly induce hypoxia as well by stealing oxygen from the mitochondria and the electron transport chain, which leads to oxygen deprivation or hypoxia. So two very simple things that can be very, very beneficial for preventing the overproduction of free radicals and oxidative stress is one, to correct any sort of copper deficiency so that way the body can properly utilize oxygen. The other major thing you're going to want to focus on is reducing and regulating your estrogen levels, which is something that we talk about so often in these videos and something that we go into depth about how to correct in our Forever Healthy Hair course. So if you haven't yet watched the other videos on how to regulate estrogen, or if you haven't yet checked out the Forever Healthy Hair course, definitely be sure to do so to get a wide variety of different things that you can do for correcting high levels of estrogen that would contribute to hypoxia oxidative stress, and skin and scalp aging. Otherwise, this brings us to my second major tip for preventing oxidative stress, which is the use of antioxidant foods and natural substances. So there are plenty of foods and natural substances and herbs that have antioxidant capacity or abilities, and all of these in some way on a very root level are going to be beneficial for protecting your skin and scalp and hair from aging. But one of my favorite herbs for doing this and a very powerfully antioxidant rich herb is Hoshu Wu, which is not only rich in antioxidants that will have a protective effect against oxidative stress and damage, but it is a premier hair tonic or anti-aging tonic for both the scalp and the skin overall. And one of the major ways that this herb works, other than its high antioxidant capacity, is its high amount of bioavailable copper. So as I mentioned, copper is essential for the proper cellular utilization of oxygen and preventing hypoxia. So this is a premier hair tonic herb and something that is incredibly beneficial for protecting the skin and scalp and hair from aging by acting as an antioxidant and providing a substantial amount of copper, which is going to be essential for not just acting as an antioxidant, but for also preventing hypoxia. Now, Hoshu Wu is just one herb with a high amount of antioxidants and the ability to prevent oxidative stress. I mentioned this herb because not only is it an antioxidant, but also because of its high amount of copper and other beneficial effects to the health of the skin and hair. I figured that this herb would be the one worth mentioning. But definitely be sure to look into the use of other herbs and medicinal mushrooms like chaga and reishi, which also have very powerful antioxidant abilities, which in some way or another could be very anti-aging to the skin, scalp, and hair. So that brings this video to a close. This is just a quick very simplified rundown of the roles of oxidative stress in skin, scalp, and hair aging with a couple of very simple things you can start to do now to prevent oxidative stress and protect your skin and promote the longevity and the health and youth of your skin, scalp, and hair. If you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos like this if you haven't yet already. For referencing the studies I mentioned throughout this video or for referencing our Forever Healthy Hair course or any of the herbs I mentioned throughout this video, you can find all of this information in links in the description box below.